Okay, I want you to know right up front, YouTube, nothing in this video is my opinion and there is no conjecture. Everything that you see in this video is gonna come from government and World Health Organization sources. Let me ask you this question before I start. When was the CARES or Coronavirus Aid Relief and Economic Security Act written? You would think that it was written after the so-called pandemic. Well, let me show you something real quick. This is from the Associated Press. This video right here is from March 27th, 2020, where it says Trump signs $2.2 trillion stimulus package. And we're gonna see that this stimulus package is HR 748, the CARES Act, the Coronavirus Aid Relief and Economic Security Act. Watch this. Well, thank you all very much. It's a very important day. I'll sign the single biggest economic relief package in American history, and I must- So it's the single biggest economic relief package in American history. And you would think that would be as a response to, it's written as a response to after the certain pandemic has taken place. Say, or any other package, by the way. It's twice as large as any relief ever signed. It's uh, 2.2 billion, but it actually goes up to 6.2 potentially billion dollars, trillion dollars. Okay, so you see he made the mistake of billion to trillion there. Now this is whitehouse.gov. This is the actual transcription of everything that we're gonna hear Trump say. I'm not gonna play this entire thing, but I'm gonna show you this mistake. But it actually goes up to 6.2 potentially billion trillion dollars. So that's everything that he says, and I wanna show you this right here real quick. But I wanna thank Republicans and Democrats. This is what Trump says in this video right here, dated March 27th which corresponds with this at whitehouse.gov, remarks by President Trump at the signing of HR 748. Remember that, that's gonna be very important here in a second. Signed when? March 27th. That corresponds with this date of this upload by the Associated Press, March 27th. And the reason I'm making a big deal out of this is because we're talking about HR 748. We are not talking about another bill. Trump did not sign another bill. He signed HR 748. That's gonna be real important in about a minute. So he says this, I wanna thank Republicans and Democrats for coming together, setting aside their differences and putting America first. You don't put America first when you sign a $6.2 trillion corporate slash banker bailout, which is exactly what this is. This is not a stimulus for the American people. This is a corporate slash banker bailout. But when was this bill introduced? When was it written? It had to be after the pandemic came along, right? Because this is a natural response to what happens after the fact, right? Watch this. World Health Organization says, a pneumonia of unknown cause detected in Wuhan, China was first reported when? To the World Health Organization country office in China on 31 December, 2019, all right? When was it declared a public emergency? The outbreak was declared a public health emergency of international concern on 30 January, 2020. So when was HR 748 introduced to Congress? You would think it would be after January 30th, 2020, right? I mean, it'd be ludicrous to come up with a Coronavirus Aid Relief and Economic Security Act before coronavirus was ever on the scene, right? This is from congress.gov. You can look this up for yourself. Everything that I'm talking about in this video, I'm gonna put all the links in the description and in the pinned comment so you can look this up for yourself and share it with your family and friends who've been deceived by what we're seeing today. Check this out. HR 748, going back to whitehouse.gov. HR 748, the CARES Act. What does CARES stand for? Look at this. Coronavirus Aid Relief and Economic Security Act or the CARES Act. HR 748, he signs HR 748. He signs it on March 27th, 2020. When was it introduced? Oh, check this out. Introduced 124, 2019. A full year, a year and two months before he sits down at this desk and signs it during a pandemic. Why do we call it a pandemic? Because look, they already had this in the works, guys, on 124 2019. Let me show you something else. If you click a link right here on congress.gov, it takes you to this page right here so you can see the movement through Congress all the way 
to the very end where it becomes a law. When was it introduced? 124, 2019, introduced into the House. And you can track its movement on the 24th, 2019, 521, 2019, 717, 2019. This is into July. And then the cutoff at 722, 2019, read the second time. Oh, now we're into the pandemic phase. They introduced the CARES Act, the Coronavirus Aid Relief and Economic Security Act before coronavirus was even spoken of, before most Americans even ever heard of Wuhan, China. The fingerprints of governmental planning is all over this thing. And then you consider the Rockefeller document, Lockstep, which is found in this document called Scenarios for the Future of Technology and International Development on page 18. Lockstep is a world of tighter top-down government control and more authoritarian leadership with limited innovation and growing citizen pushback where they talk about the pandemic blanketing the planet. Please share this video with everybody you know. The CARES Act was written one year before coronavirus arrived on the scene. They knew what they were going to do before they let you know what they were going to do. Before I go, ask yourself this question. Why is nobody in corporate media talking about this? They have billions of dollars in resources to be able to do this research and anybody can find it anywhere on the internet, but they're silent about it. Why? The answer is because they're complicit. They're accomplices in this crime, and that's exactly what it is, a crime that's been foisted not only on America, but on the entire world on behalf of the Federal Reserve and the IMF International Banking Cartel. Leave your thoughts about this for the world and the Google Thought Police in the comment section below. Be sure to look at all the documentation in the description and in the pinned comment and do your own research. Don't let somebody else do your thinking for you. I'll see you in the next heavily censored shadow ban video.